Good morning, everyone. It is the Friday, the 20th of November. And um, my apologies again for not sharing a talk yesterday. I had the funeral of a good friend and colleague, uh, Reverend Canon Shearsby Mabfutsapaki, who died tragically in an accident. And it just got me thinking, how does one speak to his family, his children, to the community who have lost a leader and a good person and say, God is faithful and say, God is in control and say, God answers our prayer and say, God looks after his own. And these are really, these are really good questions. And I suggest that the answer is not pointing to inadequacies with God, but pointing rather to the circumstances in which we find ourselves. We live in a fallen world. And God says he is reliable and just and truthful, and he is. But in the midst of this fallen world, that truthfulness of God from our perspective can appear to be blurred and lacking in clarity. And it's our lack of understanding. I give some very simple um, analogies, although for me, they, they do help to answer the question. We live in this world. It's, it's, it's almost like we're on a, a little rowing boat in a storm. And if you've ever been in a rowing boat in a storm, you know you're going to get splashed. You're still in the boat and you'll still get to shore, but you can't help but be splashed because of the circumstances around you. Another simple analogy, if I'm listening to the radio or watching television and there happens to be quite a severe thunderstorm with lightning all around me, that television broadcast gets disturbed. The radio is lost with static every now and then. Is that the SABC making mistakes in their transmission? No, it's the storm. It's the circumstances in which I find myself and it impacts. There's a consequence on what I see. And so I have no doubt and no hesitation. God is faithful and God is just and God is true and God does care for us. But we live in a fallen world and Satan is not equally powerful to God. He's not more powerful to God. He's minusculely powerful when compared to God. He's nothing. But he is roaring around like a lion, creating chaos wherever he can go. And we can't but help get caught up in the consequences of those actions. It does not point to the weakness of God. It points to the fact that God loves us and gives us free, free will. And God cannot interfere in our lives to somehow make those who are Christians live a totally painless and wonderful life. It just would not be true to this world, to God, and to the freedom God has given us. And so, folks, remain faithful to God. When there are things you don't understand, it's not God at fault. It's our lack of understanding. It's not us at fault. It's our lack of understanding. There's more that we can learn and grow. And the more we pray to God, the more we read his word, especially in the light of those terrible things that happen around us and to us and to those that we love. So we begin to glean out of this a deeper understanding of who God is and how he really does care for us and how much worse things could have been if we did not have that relationship with him. So folks, remain committed to God. Remain faithful. He is there for you. And when bad things happen, it's not indicative of a bad God. It's the circumstances, the fallen world in which we find ourselves. Folks, have a wonderful weekend. I'll chat to you probably on Wednesday because Jenny needs to be um, with the doctor for her pre-op uh, consultations, etc. And that's going to be all day Tuesday. So I doubt that I'll be able to share a message with you until next week, Wednesday. God bless. Have a wonderful weekend.